Good day, Michigan virtual friends. I got a couple tips that I think are gonna be helpful, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, the class homepage is where I give you everything in the feed, which is important, but if you wanna know your progress, click the My Progress tab. Real quickly, you can look at this to see how much of the whole course you've finished. So I've only did 4.15% of the course. I can see the discussion posts that I've worked on, how many I've authored, how many of the assignments I've completed and submitted, my quizzes that I've got done. But these things really don't tell me much about my progress. To really find what you've done, you need to click on the quizzes. And when you hit this, you can see what your scores were. And if you hit details, you can double check what you got right and what you got wrong. So I skipped this one because I got a perfect score, but on the mid-module check, I did not. I can click on the attempts, I can see the notes that the teacher gave me, and then I can scroll through and check the problems to see what I did right and what I did wrong. So you can see question number four I did incorrectly. If we look at it, it tells me what I chose, but it does not tell me, or the system does not tell me, what the right answer was. So this is where you run through the steps, do this math on your own, actually learn the correct answer. So if you see this question later in the lessons, like on the final quiz or the final assessment, you are ready to answer it correctly. When you're done figuring out what you struggled with, we can use that back button and let's go into the lessons and let me show you something you may have been forgetting about as you were learning. I'm gonna go back to the adding and subtracting rational numbers lesson. And this was teaching us all about how to add and subtract rational numbers using a click, check, and learn, kind of like slides. If you need more, like a teacher really standing in front of you, what you do is go up here to the videos tab. Inside these videos, Michigan Virtual has hired teachers to create the tutorials that you would have if you were standing in a real classroom. So this is where you can search through and find what you need. Since we were looking at rational numbers, this is probably the lesson that will be most helpful for you. Of course, you can also just visit YouTube and do a search for rational numbers and maybe even type Michigan Virtual Rational Numbers and maybe even type Michigan Virtual Rational Numbers and find another tutorial by somebody else that fits your learning style better. Once you've watched your tutorial, you can hit the X to back up, continue with your learning, and then I also want to make sure that you understand when you get to the end of any of these lessons, notice I went to page seven, you really need to make sure that you've printed out the lesson review guide. Never take an assessment until you've got that review guide, you've went through, you've practiced, and you make sure you understand all the skills that you need. Alrighty friends, it was short and sweet, but I hope those simple steps will help you be more successful on your journey with Michigan Virtual Math. Of course friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.